The last thing I want to talk about is what our TVs do this year that we didn't do in the past, because the tireless, endless work that these gentlemen did calibrating these TVs is amazing. Not everybody is going to invest in that type of calibration. What Toshiba does is allows a user to do a tremendous amount of calibration on their own. As an example, all picture adjustments are on the TV, blah, 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 blah. In our advanced picture settings, we have things like Color Master, which allow, allow us to adjust, you won't mess with that, allow us to adjust hue, saturation, brightness for your six primary colors, okay? We also have an auto brightness sensor. Let me get, try some here real quick. With our auto view setting, you can, with our advanced picture settings, with the auto brightness sensor, you have the TV here looking at how much ambient room light there is in the, in the, in the room. You see by that bar graph there. And it, sees, it shows there on that diagonal line how much output the TV is going to give for backlight. So if we put something in front of the light sensor, if all goes well, you'll see the ambient light increase. I'm just getting started. Okay? <laughs> and, it brings up, and while it does that with auto view, it adjusts color saturation, gamma, noise reduction based on the signal and things like that. So that's all well and good. But suppose we're in a dark room and this is what the TV is doing, but I don't like it. Okay, I now go and say, all right, at this lot output, I would much rather it be a little bit brighter output or darker, whatever I like. And, but you know, when I'm in a real bright room, it's actually more bright than I prefer. So when I'm up here, I'd rather the backlight output here. So it's intelligent with the amount of light that's in the room. And all of you takes into account not only the brightness, the color of the what color of the walls in your TV room? Uh, terracotta. Ter Sorry. Is that white? <laughs> no. it's, it's what color are the walls in your room? Off Adobe. white. Off white. <laughs> the TV would look different. Auto view takes things like that into account. Okay. And the best thing about all this, reset. <laughs> Everything we do has a, has a reset. Um, expert mode. Um, we, the calibrators found this last night. It's actually a pretty amazing thing. If you want to, oh, we're in expert mode. It's in my advanced picture settings. It's mm -hmm. grayed out. Mm -hmm. You missed it. I'm, oh, yeah. wait. It's great. Let me, let me go back to what mode we were in movie. Movie is yeah. what you calibrated. Mm -hmm. So now, I found it very easily last night, so I wasn't trying to find it. <coughs> Expert mode. I can turn off the red and green and calibrate my blue. I can turn off my blue and my green and calibrate my red, and I can turn off my blue and my red and calibrate my green. So if I want to sure, make sure my reds are accurate, I pull up one of their, you got about 8,250 <laughs> tuss tones you were using, amazing work yet, and make sure that that red is what it's supposed to be. I wouldn't leave it like that to watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, like me, you know what color the green monster is, is this the right form to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> I put my Red Sox hat away it's for you. <laughs> so this is the type of thing that Toshiba hadn't done in the past. We're very proud. We're looking up here at the best of the best. Anybody would be proud to have one of these TVs in their house. They'd be proud until they got it home and then went to ABS Forum and found all the things they hated, they're supposed to hate about the TV that they <laughs> like. <laughs> but any one of these sets, but what we talk about is value with Toshiba. It's all that stuff that we offer. LED backlight with local gaming, clear scan 240, all the, I call them gazintas and gazadas, 4 HDMI, two component, we don't give up on legacy connections, S-video, component video, some sets out there. If a customer, if you've got a Wii and a VCR at home, you can't hook them both up. Everything that's on there um, is, is built into the sets. And the design with our Infinity flush front is really uh, standing up and taking notes. We found out last year you can sell a ton of TVs with a distinctive cosmetic. And we're looking to do that this year. Terrific. I don't, I don't have a PowerPoint or anything. I'm sorry. Any questions from anybody? What sort of questions have we got? Anything? Nothing to do with HGD. Any questions things. from cyberspace out there? Nope. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Watch, well, shaking hands, see? <laughs> Thank you guys, that was great. It's some of the other nice features on the Toshiba that we, the calibrators, liked a lot was the blue only mode, the red only mode. It made it a little easier than holding those little acetates up. You can lock the settings in, so when the kids pick up the remote, they can't screw up your ISF settings. That's something that only exists in a Pioneer Kuru other than the Toshiba. Those were nice things that the calibrators... If, if I could just say one other quick thing, sure. with that intelligent backlight control, the backlight pro adjustment, that's the TV saying, I need to be in calibrated nighttime mode, let me bring every, all the settings back. Somebody turns a light on, opens a shade, it's daytime, let me become my daytime calibrated yeah. mode. All without you guys having to do anything. Uh, very, very outstanding price point for the product that you're getting for a flagship product. And uh, everybody seems to like that TV very, very much. So it's, it's certainly a serious contender in the uh, 240 hertz backlit marketplace.